the grocery time. I'm gonna start this off by telling you, or actually by singing you a little song that I like to sing on these occasions. The song goes something like this. You don't get to eat what you want because you got food in your cabinets already. You don't get to eat what you want because it's not healthy. Okay, so I've gone off the rails of eating after my hysterectomy and I couldn't work out or do anything and the eating just fell off. So I'm back on potatoes, five pound bag of potatoes. I'm not gonna eat all potatoes, but potatoes is gonna be going back in a staple. I have another song for you. If you're hungry, eat a fruit or vegetable. If you're really, truly hungry, a veggie will do. So I got grapes, cucumber, two bananas. Get in there. I got an orange, a pack of carrots. I have two apples already in my fridge. This was on sale. It looks like some of them are kind of starting to brown a little bit, so that's why it's on sale. Like, it's gonna expire today. A whole thing of mango. A whole thing for $2. That's usually like five or six dollars. So I gotta get on these today. I think I could also freeze these, like if I wanted to have like a frozen treat or frozen snack, or if I wanna make a smoothie, which I'm probably not gonna make a smoothie because that's too much work. Mediterranean Crunch chopped kit salad. When I go to the store and I get these packaged salads, I look to see if this number, this calories is under 150 because that's 140 per serving. So this has three servings. So if I eat all of it, that's 384.10. I don't know. I can't do math. 410, which is not the worst thing. Or if I just eat half of it, this could go nicely with something else. I also got a pack of broccoli fresh broccoli because i don't know i've been getting sick of the frozen broccoli because it seems like too squishy and not as flavorful so i want to air fry this with a teensy bit of butter and some garlic oh yeah and i also got a lemon as well because i'm gonna be making different variations of french fries with my potatoes i think one of them i'm gonna make like a garlic lemon french fry put this in here oh yeah and i also got a head of garlic is that what it's called a Clove. Is that what they call it? A head of garlic? Because one clove is a clove. I always use the little container of garlic that's already been diced. But two of my friends cooked for me and they used fresh garlic and it's a world of difference. A world of difference, I tell you. So I'm gonna do this from now on. And then, um, who loves food? Me! Okay, well, that's a weird way to say that you should become part of the Snack Pack family. And all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on this video and keep watching it. One of the things that I do when I make french fries or diced potatoes is I season it with onion powder, parsley flakes, and smoked paprika. I'm not even kidding. People are sleeping on the paprika. It really makes the difference when you're cooking potatoes. And what? This isn't paprika. <laughs> what I meant to say is people are really sleeping on parsley. Now, fresh parsley is probably better, but I think it's going to go bad in my van too soon. So parsley flakes really makes the french fries or diced potatoes go to a whole new level and then adding that smoked paprika is awesome so those are good staples to have and i already have some but i wanted to get more now when i went into the store that's what i planned on getting that's where i thought i was going to end is with fruits and vegetables and potatoes because i just need to to knock it off with some of the fast food or restaurant food not that i've been eating extremely unhealthy but there's been days where I have, so I need to just calm it down. One of the things is I've been getting Starbucks a lot more. I've been edging up. It's always like, I'm just gonna get Starbucks today, a couple days later, I'm just gonna get it one more time. Or like on the app, they'll have like a little promotion. Buy Starbucks two days in a row and get extra points. So now I'm like, get back on your coffee. So I bought regular creamer that I usually use, and this one is 35 calories per tablespoon. I think it's gonna be less sugary than this because when I have them make this, two pumps of brown sugar syrup, three pumps of classic liquid sugar. So there's five pumps of sweetness in here and then oat milk, which adds a lot more calories as well. So this is not a healthier choice in the morning. This is not healthy either. I'm not saying that because it has oils in it and it's not ideal, but it's less caloric when I make my own coffee. So that's that. And then when I was in there, I was like, 
Well, you could get a little bit of protein on those potatoes. So I got a six pack of eggs. I usually get brown eggs, but they didn't have a six pack. And my fridge is not big enough to have like, I mean, it's big enough, but I didn't want to have like a whole 12 pack of eggs. One of the things that I did last time I was at my parents' house, I did buy this giant thing for my me and my parents and I just cut it so I could have nine eggs. So I might keep this. It was a little more sturdy, I think, than this one. And then I was walking down the aisle after the spices and I saw this. The brand is Well Yes Power Veggie Chili. It was like $2. It's 200 calories for this whole container, which is really, really good. So I think I could pair like a, like a soup and half that salad and that would be an ideal lunch. It does, you know, where's my glasses? Okay, I can see it. It has 650 grams of sodium, which is not great, but in other soups, there's over usually over a thousand milligrams. So this isn't the worst sodium wise, and it's got 13 grams of protein. So that's that's a good hit. It doesn't look like a big container, but it's hefty and it's got black beans. So I think it's going to be very filling. So I just got one of these just to try it. And then the luxury item that I was like, I don't need this, but it will elevate my meals to the next level, especially since I'm not going to be eating out as much or hardly at all. I was like, I think you could just splurge a little bit. So so I got triple cheddar shredded cheese. This is 110 calories for a quarter cup. If I make like french fries, I could sprinkle a little cheese on top or when I make the broccoli, put a little cheese on top. I think it just makes a little bit of a difference. Now I was gonna get some like tortilla chips or some tortillas so I can make breakfast burritos or crumble the tortillas in the soup. But I'm like, that's, you're just, you're adding more things to the mix. And I have this whole loaf of bread that I have in my van that I haven't eaten yet. And it's only 40 calories a slice. So I was like, you know what, you could eat what you have, toast it up, make it like a crispy toast, slice it up and use that as kind of like a fork in my chili. And also if I wanted to make like a breakfast situation with my diced potatoes, I could just get some toast and make a little sandwich off of it. Not really a sandwich because I'm not, I'm trying not to eat two breads at the same time. And I already have these hash brown potatoes, Southern style O'Brien with onions and peppers. And this one doesn't have any oil. So it's like the great value version. So I usually do that with the pepper and onion blend. So even though these have a little bit, I add a little bit more just to flavor it up. The other thing that I got, wait, where is it? Yesterday I went to Rubio's, which is like a Mexican food, like more of a healthier style. And I got a fish burrito. I asked for an extra side of white sauce, which is probably calorie heavy. But if I mix a little bit of this with the French fries or use it as like a dip, but not like shoveling it in, that adds flavor. And then I got a small container of salsa so I can put the salsa on those little diced potatoes. So it doesn't take much. So I'm just saying I was already paying for the burrito. So I got these things. So that's free. And then the other day I went into a Mediterranean training restaurant because I'm really looking for this garlic sauce, like this really pungent garlic sauce so that I can mix it in with the potatoes because it gives it a lot of flavor without adding like ketchup, which has a lot of sugar. And I know that the garlic sauce from the Mediterranean, I think it's called Tum, T-O-U-M. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Usually they make it, it has oil in it. But again, you don't need very much when you're mixing it with certain things. So I bought these two little containers. They didn't give them to me for free. It was like a dollar each with I thought was like excess but I tried it and I don't really love it. It's actually garlic sauce with feta cheese in it. So it's like mixed in. I wasn't thrilled about it. I probably should have just bought one, given it a try, but I'm going to definitely use these because I paid for them. I also picked up an extra spread at In-N-Out when I went and got the animal fries. They give you these for free if you order something. So you can ask for like two or three of these. It's like Thousand Island. It's not the most healthiest thing, but I guess what I'm trying to convey to you is you don't need all these extra sauces and stuff, but when you're trying to eat and depart from always fast food or eating more super junky things and you're moving on to like mostly potatoes mostly vegetables and you just want a little something this is not gonna break the bank i don't think now if you like shovel this in your mouth and eat like four of these then yeah and the last thing i want to show you is I took it out of the box so it could fit in here but i bought this little acai bowl it's frozen acai bowl see so i think you leave it out to let it thaw and then it comes with this packet of coconut flakes like a granola topping and it's you know it's not the biggest thing but it's maybe like a little breakfast item or even like as a dessert I think this would be okay as well which is probably what I would do is more of a dessert because I mostly like to eat savory in the morning and I usually don't eat until 11 I guess it's mostly like lunch that's what I bought today and that's what's gonna get me through the next week or week and a half I think now if you'd like to stick around to watch me 
put everything away you can or you can click off whatever but um, I know some of you had questions about how my fridge is working how much space there is so if you want to see how I put things away here it is and if not then bye for now also while I put this food away I'm gonna sing it out so here's another song I'd like to call you are what you eat you are what you eat you are what you eat you don't eat meat but you eat a lot of sweets you are what you eat, you are what you eat, you eat a little better and that's quite neat. And that leads me to, you can't eat what you want, your metabolism isn't fast enough. You can't eat what you want, because you're gonna get fatter, and you like it when you feel better, and you like it when you look better, so you need to eat all the healthier things. Stop eating fast food and send a bun and you can eat what you want all the time. These oops. Wow! No, that could have been bad. Even though you don't eat meat, you've eaten too many treats. That is just too many words jumbled together. Eating too much sugar and a lot of... Eating too much butter, sugar, and a bunch of oil is not gonna be very good for... Snack time! Snack time!